SCP-445 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures Access to and testing of SCP-445 must be approved by staff with Level 2 Security Clearance or higher, and each request must include a list of tests to be carried out. Any testing must be done with the accompaniment of no less than two guards for the entirety of testing. Any deviation from the pre-approved list of tests will result in immediate termination of testing and a severe reprimand. Addendum As of June 2000, SCP-445 is to be kept permanently separated from all samples of SCP-445-Alpha as described in Isolation Protocol IP-445-01. The access and testing regulations given above for SCP-445 apply equally to SCP-445-Alpha. For more details, see Document 445-01. Description SCP-445 consists of three stacks of white 11-inch by 17-inch paper. Each individual leaf has the text, Dr. Wondertainment's Super Paper, stamped on the bottom left corner. While in its natural state, SCP-445 cannot be torn or burned, water has no adverse effect on it, and glue or tape will not stick to SCP-445. Observation of SCP-445 has found that its fibers are much denser than normal paper fibers at 3,000 kg per meter cubed, and a microlayer of an unidentifiable substance is coated on each individual fiber. When SCP-445 is folded into a representation of an object, SCP-445 takes on the qualities of the object in question. While in its folded state, SCP-445 can only be unfolded into its original state by the person who originally folded it. SCP-445 can also be rolled, and it will stick to itself if slight pressure is applied. Drawing on SCP-445 does not produce any unusual effect, with the exception of any details illustrated for folded or rolled objects. A variant of SCP-445, designated SCP-445-Alpha, was created on June 2000 via exposure of SCP-445 samples to SCP-073. Physically, SCP-445-Alpha is almost identical to SCP-445, the only difference being a slight reddish tint to SCP-445-Alpha. However, SCP-445-Alpha behaves differently to SCP-445 when folded. See Document 445-01 for details. Addendum October 15th Dr. <laughs> testing Log Folded into A paper tube when observed through one of the open ends, SCP-445 acted as a handheld telescope, enhancing the view of objects within a 25-foot distance. Folded into A Christmas tree Remained stable when stood upright. When green and red lights were drawn onto the tree, they lit up despite the lack of a physical light source folded into, a small knife, became very sturdy and sharp, giving several researchers paper cuts when attempting to hold it, able to hold its own against actual metal weaponry. Folded into, a conical paper tube, acted as a megaphone, though amplified only the folder's voice. When a volume control was drawn onto the side, the folder was able to change the volume of the megaphone. Folded into a paper cup, became very rigid, able to hold extremely hot or volatile liquids without any sign of tearing or melting. Folded into 
a paper crane, became animate, much like SCP-368, though much slower and easily catchable. Recommend research into a possible connection between these two. Folded into A paper boat slash hat When placed in water, became self-propelling at speeds of up to 60 kilometers per hour. When inverted and placed on head, subject's physical attractiveness was greatly increased in the eyes of viewers. When both were performed simultaneously, both effects were achieved, with subject reported as looking dead sexy while scooting around the water upside down. Folded into A crumpled wad of paper Data expunged, leaving 3D-class personnel dead. Testing session ended. Folded into Origami copy of SCP-682 Animated halfway through folding process, causing Dr. G considerable injury. Testing session ended. Notes Let's not try that again. Dr. G Addendum June 2000 Dr. has requested permission to test samples of SCP-445 in conjunction with SCP-085. He has also requested permission to expose samples of SCP-445 to SCP-073 to determine whether SCP-073's ability to destroy ordinary paper by touch extends to SCP-445. Document 445-01 June 2000 Approval for testing SCP-445 in conjunction with SCP-073 granted. SCP-073 is placed in a room with one sheet of SCP-445 and instructed to touch the paper. SCP-445 sample exhibits no loss of structural integrity upon contact with SCP-073. However, the sample does change color, exhibiting a slightly reddish tinge within approximately 30 seconds of initial contact with SCP-073. Modified SCP-445 sample designated SCP-445-alpha. Dr. recommends further investigation into physical and chemical composition of SCP-445. SCP-445-alpha stored in separate isolation chamber to prevent potential cross-contamination. June 2000 One sheet of SCP-445 introduced to SCP-445-alpha. SCP-445 sample begins exhibiting visible coloration consistent with SCP-445-alpha within 90 seconds of initial contact. After approximately 600 seconds of contact, introduced sample of SCP-445 is physically indistinguishable from SCP-445-alpha. Formal Isolation Protocol IP-445-01 established to prevent cross-contamination between SCP-445 and SCP-445-alpha. July 2000 Eight sheets of SCP-445 introduced to SCP-445-alpha. Conversion occurs as before, bringing total number of SCP-445-alpha sheets to 10. Dr begins testing on SCP-445-alpha, following experimental protocol utilized on October 15th by doctors and G. Folded into a paper tube. When observed through one of the open ends, SCP-445-alpha acted as a handheld telescope, enhancing the view of objects within a 25-foot distance. However, Subject using the telescope reported that objects viewed through it seemed somehow off. When asked to elaborate, subject was unable to specify any specific visual issue, noting only that objects viewed through the telescope appeared sinister. Folded into 
a Christmas tree, remained stable when stood upright. When green and red lights were drawn onto the tree, they lit up despite the lack of a physical light source. Test results identical to those of SCP-445. Folded into a small knife became very sturdy and sharp, causing injuries to all subjects who attempted to pick it up, ultimately severing subject D's right index finger at the proximal interphalangeal joint. Eventually, subject using reinforced gloves was able to unfold SCP-445-Alpha's sample into its original, neutral shape. Folded into a conical paper tube. Acted as a megaphone, though amplified only the folder's voice. The amplified voice was subject to significant distortion, exhibiting what was described as a demonic growl by observers, though in all cases the speaker's voice was still identifiable. When a volume control was drawn onto the side, the folder was able to change the volume of the megaphone. Folded into a paper cup became very rigid, able to hold extremely hot or volatile liquids without any sign of tearing or melting. However, samples of water added to the cup became opaque and dark red in color within 15 seconds of contact. Chemical analysis of the resulting fluid revealed it to contain large quantities of human hemoglobin and other blood proteins. No other liquid added to the cup exhibited this change including water-based solutions in concentrations higher than 50 millimolar. Folded into a paper crane, became animate, much like SCP-368. Sample displayed aggressive and territorial behavior, repeatedly dive-bombing researchers and attacking with its beak and wings, causing minor injuries. After being caught and killed by crushing the paper crane, Sample was able to be unfolded into its original, neutral shape. Folded into a paper boat slash hat. When placed in water, became self-propelling at speeds up to 60 kilometers per hour. Again, Sample displayed aggressive behavior, repeatedly attempting to ram nearby subjects and even propelling itself out of the water to do so. When inverted and placed on head, subject began to act erratically, threatening researchers and security personnel with violence. Subject terminated. In light of these results, Dr. S*** elects to suspend further testing on SCP-445-Alpha. SCP-073 declines to comment when questioned on these findings. Note. In light of these findings, I would like to formally request that SCP-445 be reclassified as a Euclid-class object. Dr. Sp